In this video, I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating the two-step method to assembling dental dams. If you're interested in the instruments that are on here or the one-step demonstration, you can go ahead and check out our previous video that we've posted and it will explain that. In the two-step method, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my dental dam forceps and I'm going to place my dental dam clamp on my tooth. In this example, I'm still going to be using tooth number 28, which is a premolar, so I have my premolar clamp here. So to place my dental dam clamp on tooth number 28 here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my forceps and the prongs or projections I'm going to stick inside my dental dam clamp itself. Once I have them placed inside of there, I'm going to squeeze my dental dam forceps. As you can tell, it's gonna widen this and I can use this locking mechanism to lock in place so that way I don't have to hold this and it will keep it that same openness. So that way when I place it around the tooth, it's gonna make it easier for me. And the tighter I squeeze, the wider it's gonna open this dental dam clamp. So when I fit this around the tooth, I'm going to place it right along that gingival margin. I'm going to let go and disengage my locking mechanism and it's going to be right along that gingival tissue. It's not going to be resting on the gums, but we want it right above. I'm going to next use my dental dam. This is a pre-stamped one, so that way I can kind of see where about, depending on the tooth I'm working, I will need to punch my hole in the dental dam. Remember, dental dams are used for isolating a tooth, a few teeth, a quadrant, whatever the dentist's preference is for what they're working on, but it's mainly used for isolation. So in this instance, I'm gonna be using tooth number 28. I already have my hole stamped and punched into my dental dam here. So if you want another example on how to do that, go ahead and watch the one step video. With the hole I punched in my dental dam, I'm going to start on more of the buccal facial side here, and I'm going to stretch my hole and then I'm going to fish it around all the way through the back of my dental dam. It's going to be a bit tricky, it might pop off, but I recommend using a finger as a fulcrum to help stabilize your dental dam clamp inside of your patient's mouth. So now that I've placed my and wrapped my dental dam around my dental dam clamp, I'm gonna use my frame here. So remember this open end of the frame is gonna go up towards the top of the head. This closed end part of the frame is gonna go down towards the chin. These projections or prongs on the dental dam frame is what I'm going to stretch and wrap the dental dam around to pull it taut so that way it is nice and tight to help really form a good isolation for the dentist and the dental assistant. Now I'm going to use my cotton pliers to help pull forward my dental dam to isolate it to just our working tooth. So once that's covered up there, good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my floss now. I'm going to floss the mesial and distal contacts of the teeth here, so that way that tooth is fully isolated. I wanna make sure that my ligature is coming out of the mouth, so that way, once again, in case this dental dam were to pop off, go down the patient's throat, the dentist or dental assistant can hurry up and pull this to retrieve it. Same thing like the one step to remove this dental dam from the patient's mouth. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my dental dam forceps from the beaks or the prongs or projections that come out of my dental dam forceps. I'm going to line them up with the holes inside of my dental dam clamp. I'm going to squeeze to widen it and it's going to come out in one piece. Once this is removed from the patient's mouth, you wanna inspect your dental dam and make sure that it is still intact. If you notice that there are some voids in your dental dam material, you wanna make sure that you use a piece of floss to floss those mesial and distal contacts of the patient's tooth or teeth that were being worked on to make sure that they're cleaned.